Why am I not in focus? So if there's a day that I would not do a video, that day will be today. Uh, very tired and I actually had to have a uh, energy drink to get me up. I need to position this. Okay, so the first thing I like about so the first thing I like about Gutenberg is the fact that we can use Gutenberg with our existing page builders. Now imagine this. Let's say you invested uh, a lot of time to, uh, to learn how to use DV, Elementor, whatever page builder it is, and WordPress just releases an update which stops you from using those page builders. That will be really, really messed up. But you know what the good thing is? We can use our page, page builders with, what am I saying? we can use our page builders with the new WordPress update. All right, so moving on. Um, I think I forgot to tell you that I'll be uh, moving office, so today is my last day. So it's gonna be a mission trying to move everything into the new office. In fact, I'll show you where this new office is. The good news is the office is still on the same level. <laughs> First of all, let me show you the state of the office right now. It is really, really messed up. I mean, why am I not in focus? This is strange. There we go. Now, when it comes to Gutenberg, to be honest, I think the change they made was uh, really, really good because it's keeping up with the times. Okay, so here we are. This is the new place. So as you can see, I think it looks really nice. So this is my sink. Of course, it needs a little cleanup, but pretty much the room is empty. And I need my internet connected as well, up there. Right, so pretty much this is going to be my new home. Today is my last day in the old office, or in the old studio, I should say. So, we gotta do it. I really need to make a cup of tea, but the problem is I've run out of lemons. So what I have is the lemon that I used last time. So I'm gonna try and squeeze maybe three or four drops out of this lemon. Okay, so now it's time to talk about the second reason why I like using Gutenberg. So, it's all about the UI. Okay, so the UI, it looks very simplified. I really like the layout and the way things are. In fact, we can make this layout even better by clicking this gear icon over here. So if you click this, it just gets rid of everything over here on the right, which means we can now focus on just the content that we need to add to the page. Right, so that's my number two. So let's talk about Number three. So number three is these plus buttons here. So every, come, every time you come to this plus button, it's just giving us an idea of what content we need to add onto the page. So if I click here, it just makes it easier for me to find what I need. So for example, if I wanna add an image, I can just click here on image, media library. It takes me to the library I can click on my image, select. So I think, I think this is really cool. It's much, much easier compared to what we had before. Now, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is, let's talk about the blocks. So if I come over here to this plus button here to add a block, again, we have all the blocks laid out here. So we can go into our 
uh, formatting, we can go into our layout elements. So we can see here we have columns. So if I click on columns, straight away over here, I have added my two columns. And then we also see this plus button. Now this plus button here is really, really good because every time you see the plus, it means that we can add a block. So I think this is very, very important. Right, let's move on to number three. And this is Gutenberg has not taken away the features that we had before because this would be really, really uh, bad if we couldn't find where to add our featured images or any other uh, features that we had before. So let me show you where these are. So if I come over here now, before I uh, came over here to get rid of the side panel. So if I click this gear icon, it comes back. We still have our featured image. So I can set my featured image over here. If I scroll down, I can choose a template. So we, can, we have an option to choose a blank or default template. And over here, we, we also have the ability to choose the right sidebar. And then on the top here, we still have the save draft, which means it is, uh, well, I mean, we can save whatever work we're doing uh, before we actually publish the work. So this is really, really cool. Now let's talk about number four. Now, number four is when we take a look at our pages here. So I'm just gonna click on leave and just show you what this looks like. So the page that we were working on uh, is Draft Gutenberg over here, right? So I really like the way that it tells us which page uses the page builder and which page uses Gutenberg. So this is ideal in situations where you want to go back and edit a page and you have to guess what you try to use or try and find out you know, in different ways how you actually edited that page. So I think this is really, really cool. So I really like this. Okay, so let's move on to number five. So number five is over here on add new. So, so we, first of all, to get this page, you have to come to all pages, right? So over here on the top, if we click this drop down here, we can choose which type of page we want to create using whatever editor. So for example, here I have uh, Divi, I also have Gutenberg, I also have classic editor. So it just makes it easier for me to just go in and choose the layout that I need. So let's say I want to go with Divi, I can just select Divi straight away. And this takes me straight to the page builder. So this takes away the guessing work of trying to work out which I mean, where I need to go in order for me to uh, find the right page builder to use. Okay, so there you have it. These are my five reasons why I like Gutenberg. So be sure to subscribe. This channel is all about marketing and also web design. So I will be making a lot of uh, tutorials on how to use Gutenberg and also how to make your website make you money. Okay, so be sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell notification. I'm out.